WTFNN. Headline news update. Welcome back, folks. Uh, we had the Dow Industrials finish up 99, NASDAQ up 79, S&P's up 20, all new all-time highs. Gold contract, gold contract flat, $14, $1,480 an ounce. Silver up eight cents, seventeen dollars nine cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up eighteen cents, sixty dollars twenty five cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. You had the ten year down seventeen ticks, one twenty eight sixteen. The thirty year off a of full point plus seven ticks at one fifty seven. They both folks pull back tremendously light of volume. They continue to want higher price, lower yield. King dollar, king dollar down one hundred twenty three ticks, ninety seven zero four five. Nine, King Dollar is going after the 95 market. Broke the consolidation it was in last week. Bottom line, wants lower price. One of the big numbers out here, folks, inside the Dow Industrials today, it's pretty amazing that the Dow actually could make another all-time high, is that when you had Boeing uh, being a laggard in a huge way. I mean, uh, you know, you're talking about an equity that just got toasted on the way down. The Dow did end up uh, still up 99 points in and that is with Boeing putting 99 negative points inside the Dow Industrial. So it's pretty impressive. I don't expect the Dow is going to do uh, much more uh, tomorrow. Why? Because uh, you can expect a statement uh, coming out from Boeing. I think they were just waiting for the market to close. Uh, what we had all day long here, you had the speculation coming out of the Wall Street Journal this morning, is that they were going to basically slow down and uh, do a temporary halt on the production of the 737s. Uh, bottom line is that they have nearly 400 of them already built, and uh, bottom line is that uh, they can't get them certified. Uh, there's going to be some huge ramifications uh, if, in fact, uh, that, that is how this is going to shake out. Uh, why? Because, uh, number one, you have the airlines in general, but number two, uh, you have a huge amount of workers, folks, that will get thrown out of a job uh, if, in fact, that's how this is going to shake out. But I can't imagine having... 400 737s in your backyard. Um, not one of them has been certified to fly yet. And uh, bottom line is that uh, we are uh, coming into January. So big problems out there for Boeing, which uh, in fact uh, can basically uh, put, put a drag on the Dow. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one. Come back and visit us tomorrow morning. Larry Pesavento kicks us off 9 o'clock in the morning. Great program, folks. Talk to you in the morning. Have a great one.